Hollywood people have always been nut jobs. That is not debatable. Anyone with a working brain understands that these weirdos out there, these Hollywood elites have always felt like they were better than everyone and they operated in a bubble. They operated in a world and they believed that everything that they believed was truly the best and anyone that disagreed were the problem. That's how these elites have always been. That's fine. But they've never really had a problem pushing it into their movies to the point where it just ruins all of our entertainment. Well, in the last, I don't know, five years or so, that has changed significantly. Anything that Hollywood produces, generally speaking, yes, you can find instances of this and that that are okay, but generally speaking, everything that Hollywood produces, it is propaganda. It's all meant to push a political narrative, and Disney is the worst of these Hollywood elites. And the latest comments from Anthony Mackie about Captain, or what is it, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, uh, just proves that. Listen to these nonsensical comments. These people are out of their minds. So here is Anthony Mackie, claims that Disney and Marvel Studios are trying to change the way society looks at itself. Wow, Anthony Mackie, Anthony Mackie, thank you so much for being so stunning and so brave. <sighs> thank you, Marvel. Thank you for taking such a brave stance and preaching about moral superiority. Thank you so much. Um, Marvel Studios recently released their latest episode of Marvel Studios Assembled that gives a behind-the-scenes look at the recently concluded first season of Cap uh, the... I keep wanting to say Captain America. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Um, in that episode, Anthony Mackie, who plays Sam Wilson on the show, recently claimed that Marvel Studios and Disney are trying to change the way society looks at itself through this show. Yeah, because uh, that's going to change everything. A, a, a show about superheroes is going to change the world, everybody. Uh, he says, it's been an emotional experience, especially in the time in which we live in now. For Marvel to give me the opportunity as a black man from the South to become Captain America, I think says a lot. Not only about the work that I've put in to get to this point, that they would entrust me with that. But with the way that they're hoping to change the way society at it, it looks at itself. <sighs> So wonderful, so moving. Mackie also made a couple of other contradictory comments throughout the episode. Really? A person that talks about social justice contradicts themselves? You're kidding me. A person in Hollywood contradicts themselves? What? No way that happened. Um, at one point, he says, Sam, you know, being a soldier and being a veteran, being a counselor, he realizes that as a people, we're all Americans. Really? Really? Does that mean that uh, MAGA supporters are all Americans? I would love for someone with Disney to confirm that to me. Tell me that Donald Trump supporters are all welcome. Tell me that you really hope that you have all 75 million Donald Trump supporters embrace your company and your product. I want to hear that on record from Disney. I want to hear it. We know it ain't going to happen. Uh... I'm not a black Captain America. Steve wasn't a white Captain America. He was solely Captain America. So as a society, as a country, we need to realize that all the people who are, crit who are citizens here on this soil, no matter what their origins are, they are Americans. Well, I agree with you. I agree with you. So why? Why are we constantly reminded that you are a black person in this show? Why do you consistently fall back on identity politics? Uh, he adds, and you know, the old adage, I am my brother's keeper, comes into play. You know, Sam realizes he deserves, uh, that Sam realizes he deserves the right. He's earned the right of Captain America, and that uh, has nothing to do with his race or his background. However, towards the end of the episode, he refers to Sam Wilson as the black Captain America. Mackie stated, with everything that's going on with the beer bug and the murders of Brianna and the murder of George Floyd and the riots and the activism going on with the young generation and, you know, BLM movement, it's been jarring to me and surprising how timely this series is. He added, my truth, oh man, oh, my truth has changed and evolved so much. Um, it's called The Truth. 
it's not your truth, there is the truth. And then there is your opinion, and more often than not, it's a misguided uh, opinion within Hollywood elites. Uh, as far as me being a father, as far as me being a man, as far as me being an American, and a lot of uh, that has come out of this role in this series. So it's been humbling in a real sense, but also inspiring to think that my sons will be able to turn on a TV and see a black Captain America. I'm not black Captain America. He's earned the right of Captain America, and that has nothing to do with his race or his background. But then you say, uh, it's been humbling in a real sense, but also inspiring to think that my sons will be able to turn on the TV and see a black Captain America. It's not about, it's not about race, guys. But it's also about race because Hollywood people consistently contradict themselves because they are always talking out of their you-know-what. Try not to get demonetized. Um... Not only did Mackie claim Marvel Studios and Disney are trying to change the way society looks at itself, but uh, di director Kerry Skoglin uh, has also made some interesting comments about the show and the spe uh, specifically about the heroes. She stated, uh, it was very important to me and I think to everyone to explore what it means to be a hero in today's world. If in the past, in the MCU, uh, being a hero was very much related to being a soldier and being a warrior, the new hero is not that. The new hero is really a first responder. And so it was embedded in our journey for both characters. Pretty sure the people who defeated Thanos in the Avengers Endgame were all soldiers. So I, have re I really have no idea what this even means. It looks like uh, it's trying to be smart, but in reality, it's just gibberish. Absolutely. Um... And it just continues on. Um, it's all about identity politics. Producer Nate Moore would follow up by saying, as a black man in America, to take on the stars and stripes and to wear that proudly, that's not something that Sam Wilson would do out of the box. The notion of exploring what blackness means in America was kind of the hypothesis of the show. And the notion of a legacy was something that both Sam and Bucky uh, explore. Remember now, remember, remember, remember. Uh, so uh, it has nothing to do, let's see, he was solely Captain America. So a society, as a country, we need to realize that all people who are citizens of soil, no matter what their origins are, are all Americans. Um, he's earned the right of Captain America, and that has nothing to do with his race or his background. Yet let's talk about nothing but race and his background. My God, man, these Hollywood people, they're insane. They've always been insane, but now they can't keep it out of these shows. They can't keep it out of these stories. And look, man, um, I don't have a problem if people feel passionate about something and they want to, you know, speak up about it. But when you are pushing it into your entertainment and the fans of that entertainment, the fans that have been passionate about that entertainment for all of these years are telling you we don't want to hear your political propaganda it's your job to listen to the fans the people that consume your product but no you want to listen to woke activists on twitter and this is why i cannot find any interest in anything that's going on right now um you know a lot of people have been like well jeremy why aren't you haven't making a lot of videos on geeks and gamers about this i just i don't care like i'm just beyond it i mean I do want to roast Lucasfilm for some of their Star Wars stuff on May the 4th because it was more about Gina Carano. The fans made it more about Gina Carano, rightfully so, but I just don't care. I don't care. I watched one episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier and I never watched anymore because I don't care. I'm not watching The Bad Batch because I don't care. Because they have shown me that I, as a proud Donald Trump supporter, my opinion does not matter to them. They have demonized me as a Donald Trump supporter. They have demonized you. If you disagree with anything they say, if you don't fall in line with exactly what they want, it's over for you. They don't want anything to do with you. But if you have the right race and gender and the right political opinion, they will prop you up and they will, they will sing your praises until the end of time and let everyone know how great you are until, of course, you disagree and then they will cast you out. And that's just how they are. Hollywood people are nuts. The mainstream media, it's over. They're lost. It's completely compromised. Games journalism, completely compromised. All of it, completely compromised. And until...
people start coming together and supporting people that are not spewing this nonsense, it's going to continue. And that is just the reality of the situation. So again, thank you guys for checking out this video. Appreciate you, all of your support. Very important that you go support us on Locals. Speaking of a platform that is not about this nonsense, go to Locals. Support Geeks and Gamers over on Locals. Support RK Outpost over on Locals. We love this platform. They have been very gracious to us. Um, it's a, basically a version of Patreon and Facebook. You can go over there. You can become part of the Geeks and Gamers community. You can see what we're posting. If you want to get involved with the community, you have to become a supporter. It's a wonderful platform, and we are so excited for the future of that platform along with GeeksandGamers.com and a lot of other things that we are creating. But people have got to support these things if you want to see change because strength in numbers matters. We have got to st start telling Hollywood that we're tired of it. I've been watching more anime than anything. Why? I've never cared about anime. But what I do care about is storytelling that doesn't get um, ruined by political propaganda and social justice weirdo politics. And anime is doing that for the most part. I mean, I'm not an expert, but um, I'm enjoying what I've seen. And it's nice to watch stories with interesting characters that it's not specifically built around their race, their gender, and the virtue signaling aspect. Other than that, you guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video, and we will talk to you later.